What is going on everybody? I hope you all are having a great day. Back to real time, it's Tuesday now. The video that I uploaded yesterday was from the AIM Expo, which was a few months ago, as you know. So shout out to all of you that watched that video. If you haven't already, check it out. If you're interested in seeing some wheelies, I know it's been a while. That was the craziest street ride that I've ever been on. So I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen right now. Click on that, give it a watch. But right now I'm just taking the dogs on a run and we have a lot to get done today. I've gotta to make a phone call and actually I'm gonna do that right now. I haven't had it yet, but it was scheduled for this Thursday, but you told me to give you a call to confirm. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Okay, great. <laughs> I will make sure to put you down as confirmed, and we will be out there on Thursday then for you, okay? Any estimated time? I have you down for 10 o'clock in the morning. Awesome. Sounds great. Okay, wonderful, Tanner. I sure do appreciate it, and we will see you on Thursday. Well, that is good news. Two more days until they come out to give me an estimate. We'll see what they say. Hopefully they can get it done. I wish they could just bring the stuff and get it done that day because I know it's an easy job for them. The other company that I wanted to work with, they don't service this area. They said it was like right on the border and this job was just too small of a job for them. But they had like amazing reviews. This place, not so much, but hopefully it works out. I am ready to start building. I just keep running through everything that I'm going to do in my mind and I'm ready to execute. I think the biggest challenge is just going to be getting that wood stove wall done making sure everything's fireproof and everything is sealed and functioning the way it should be and then after that it should be a breeze so as you guys know i was working on that whole side of the shop from just one outlet now granted i had like 20 ports in my surge protector but i was running everything from just that one plug so this time around i'm going to be sure to put as much plugs in as i can and who knows maybe we'll put in an electric garage door opener in the future that'd be pretty sweet i do want to get a welder like this season so we're gonna have to run some 220 not sure what welder to go with so for any of you out there let me know i definitely want something that i can keep forever i'd like to get like a mig arc combo but i definitely want something that's easy to use reliable there's been so many times where i've needed a welder and i've cut corners on a project just because i didn't have one but especially just with working on vehicles and future fabrication projects it would be a nice tool to have but if you have any suggestions on that let me know down in the comments below but we're going to be out working in the shop today we got to get everything cleaned up and ready for the estimate and i think we're going to put the 250l back together the brake pads came in I've got the air filter, so who knows, maybe we'll do some 250L riding. It's supposed to get up to like 50 degrees today. Wish that sun would come out and make it that much warmer, but I'm excited to get some stuff done, so let's do it. Oh my god, it is a mess in here. So first things first, I'm going to get everything out of the way that I can, and then we're going to go ahead and work on the 250L. This might take some time.
So we spent a few hours cleaning things up. Definitely made a big difference. Got that table out of here. But we got a package in the mail today that should get the 250L back up and going. What the heck? Woo, check that out. Genuine Honda right there. Brake fluid exchange instructions in Japanese. Wow, that is night and day. Check these old pads out. Oh my gosh. Look at that difference. That is insane. I'd say we were long overdue. This is literally nothing left. Well, let's go get these things installed. <laughs> Alright you guys, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to put that air filter in or go for a ride because the sun's going down. I swear it gets earlier each and every day. It's not even 5 yet, it's crazy. So look forward to that tomorrow. We'll throw the air filter in there and maybe we'll get a ride in. I always struggle putting that wheel back on. I don't know why. I think I figured it out this time. It's easier to come in with the axle on the caliper side and then you have to have both spacers in before you try to get the axle in. But that's what I found to be easiest. I struggled for probably like 20 minutes just doing that. Doesn't help that my chain is super tight on that thing. But once again, that tire is way too big for that wheel. Even though I love the way it performs, we're gonna go back to a track master after that. But I'm excited to get the 250L back up and going. I have a new friend that wants to go riding. We're gonna check out some new trails, so hopefully that'll happen this weekend. I'm looking forward to Thursday. I'll be sure to let you know what happens with the estimate, and then we'll go from there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope y'all are having a great start to your week. Looking forward to getting back on the 250L, so that's what we're gonna wake up and do tomorrow. But if you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.